I'm looking forward to this. This is going to be fun. Me too. <laughs> All right. Okay. Guys, welcome to At Home with Yarra Rangers Life TV. Um, we thought we'd do something different, you know, have a bit of a, a casual kind of podcast kind of setup where we have a bit of a chat and a bit of a banter and share some of our stories with you guys out there and um, then see what you think. And uh, if you like this concept, you know, be sure to leave your comments down below and um, yeah, share your thoughts and if there's anything you guys would like us to talk about and any questions you've got, shout out. Yeah, we'll maybe have a chat about that in the next one. Yep. I guess where's this going? Is this going on YouTube or on Facebook? Um, we're going to put this on both platforms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we'll put it both on, on YouTube and on, on our uh, Facebook page. Yeah, we can um, look at it that way. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Something different, isn't it? Well, I've never done one of these before. And, uh, of course, um, on Friday night, we had our um, second anniversary birthday bash. Yeah. And happy birthday to us. Happy birthday to yes. us. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How amazing was it? It was a huge night. Yeah. Um, I couldn't believe it all came together in, like, just a little bit under three weeks. Yeah, pretty crazy. Yeah, and um, the food. Tasty as. Oh, yeah. Jules. Yeah. Oh, the, the food just kept coming. <laughs> was there much left over? Uh, no, there wasn't. And um, the good thing was um, a lot of the food that was left over, like um, we had pulled pork rolls and some beef, um, pulled beef rolls that were left over and that. Um, Jules actually took them down to Melba Park. Oh, good. Oh, yeah, good, okay. Where um, you know, Neil Taylor and Holly yep. Fools, um, they often help out some of the homeless guys down there every Wednesday. Yeah. Um, Jules took this big tray of food down there and helped out some of the homeless people down there. And God, they're they, amazing. Mm. They had a really good feed. You know what mm. I realised on Friday night? Like, mm. it just really um, sunk in how many amazing people we have in the community. Mm. You know, like Animal Aid, the people from Animal Aid, yeah. they were amazing. I had a good chat with them. Yeah, Mark Menz and uh, yeah. his wife, they were there, CEO yeah. of Animal Aid. Yeah. Um, you know, and obviously the Holy Fools crew and yeah. just everyone that's supported us. All the community came together on Friday night, didn't they? It was special, yeah. Um, and of course, um, Garden yeah, Express. Express. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was great to see them. I was, I, I actually, I worked with, um, well, one of the, I think the wives of the guys. Amanda. Yeah. yeah. Amanda. Her yeah. grandfather worked at the quarry where I worked. Yeah. And uh, actually, yeah. David Mitchell. Uh, yeah, quarry, yeah, at the quarry, yeah, in Lauder. Yeah, yeah. So that was really like... Kind of small world, just uh, yeah. Uh, they happen to be yeah, all, all connected. Yeah, so it was six six degrees of separation. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, uh, with the community up here, I mean, um, it is it is a small world. You know, once you start moving with the community, everyone tends to know everyone else. You know, some some way or somehow. Yeah. And I think that that's what makes this place so special. It, you know? Yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah. And um, now with Garden Express, of course, we we love those guys. We have to thank those guys, of course, because they're um, basically sponsoring us indefinitely. Um, they they love what mm -hmm. we do and. Um, so we, yeah, we had um, Dave Van Berkel and Jenny Van Berkel, the two managing directors, they came down and also uh, Rowan um, and, and his partner Amanda. So thanks very much for coming down guys and supporting us um, as they have been since, I think they came on board that July, I think it was July last year. So they've all, all, almost been with us for a year on our sponsor board. Yeah, well yeah. the support means a lot to us because I think a lot of people um, perceive that we are this really sort of, because we're so professional that mm. we but we make a lot of money. <laughs> I wish. Yeah. <laughs> I know. But um, we don't. We don't. Uh, we need as much support as we can get. So we appreciate yeah. the support that they give us. Yeah. Yeah, and I've, I've been having a think about um, what the blockage is in regards to um, uh, like the funding side of things. Like a lot, a lot of people ask us, you know, Pat, how, how are you guys funded? And um, obviously, it's uh, you know throughout because we we operate as a business. Um, I'm, I'm registered as a, as a sole trader. Um, so Patrick Boucher Trading as Yarrow Life TV. And um, for us to generate an income, it's through advertising and sponsorships. Like, for example, Garden Express, they pay two ninety five a week to be on our sponsor board. Um, and if you think about it from a, um, a cost effectiveness point of view, if you can compare, compare it to print advertising, um, print advertising, it's not measurable. You can't see how many people have seen your brand or your ad, um, how many people it's reached and that kind of thing. Um, whereas with us, all, all that kind of stuff, all that data, it's, it's all there, it's measurable, and you can get that information. Plus, the variety of content we put out there and the amount of content we put out there um, to have your brand associated with all these different events and um, you know, all this different content is mm. the point. Um, for only two ninety five a week, yeah. it's cheap as chips. Yeah. Cheap as chips. Um, and it's even less for community groups. So um, if you think about it, if there's only Garden Express on the sponsor board, we're only making two ninety five a week. Mm. And we supplement our income by also some events um, and some businesses that we might cover, we'll ask them to cover some of our, um, it's like an appearance fee. Yeah. 
yeah. some, to cover some of our production costs. And if it's a community group, it might, might only be 150 bucks for us to come out and, and do something. But um, for businesses, for example, um, just quickly, we did the Cherry Hills, uh, Cherry Hills Orchard, mm -hmm. the Cherry Blossom Festival. Um, we did a, just a- Cherry Blossom, like in Japan? Yeah, yeah, oh, um, okay. it was yeah, the Cherry Blossom Fest, yeah. Okay. Um, awesome turnout, um, yeah, but basically we did a five minute live promo, 350 bucks for us to go live mm. um, and do a live promo. Um, and as you guys know, you know, we're short, sharp, we're punchy, we're dynamic um, in our mission to inform, engage and entertain. So how many people would that reach? Uh, well, that, I think that had over, um, over 10,000 views, reached yeah. about 30,000 30, people. Good, bloody good value for 350 yeah. bucks, yeah. you know. Yeah, and, and such good value. Um, Rachel, um, Rachel Shibbers there, she's actually already contacted me for their Cherry Blossom Festival at the end of this year. So she's like, Pat, can you already lock us in? We want you guys to come back. Um, love what you mm. guys do. So Yeah. Yeah, so that's another way that we supplement our income. But, um, but the, the thing is that also too is that like all the equipment cost and, mm. and ideally, you know, we want to do more high-end stuff as well. So that's right. to have a bit of an income coming in would actually help offset those costs. Um, mm. You know, especially mic packs. Like, I mean, we had to go buy a, a cheap... <laughs> We had to buy a cheap mic pack because of just the last ones were just terrible. Ones yeah, and <laughs> when, when you shoot live, like when you go live and there's just so many hassles and you can't even hear with those, those mic packs. Hmm. Whereas at least the new ones we've got now, they still drop out. They're not as good as like the Sennheisers, but the hmm. Sennheisers are about $900 and we can't really afford yeah, that. Yeah, it's, it's a massive outlay of uh, equipment. So, that's, uh, that's nuts, yeah. Yeah. So and it's and not um, like we're, we're wasting the, the money by going to strip clubs or, you know, <laughs> or, or stuff like that. It's, it's going back to into the, yourself, well, yeah. it's, it's yeah. going back into the actual business. So yeah, that's it's, right. Um, yeah. That's right. So that's why it's really important that we, we get some money. That's right. And um, with the professional video production services, mm. um, you know, we can do ads, um, training videos, we can do promo videos, um, cinema quality too. Mm. And you know, budget's big and small. So um, if you are looking for someone to produce your um, your video for your business or your organisation or your school, well, even even um, capture a school recital, or school plays, yeah, that yeah, kind yeah, of thing. Sort of stuff, yeah. 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 In fact, we've got a gig coming up with um, Mount Evelyn Primary School in, in this month, in the month of um, April, May. Yeah, in May, we've got a special um, some special feature videos we're doing for a, um, a special safety road safety campaign for Mount Evelyn Primary School. So that that'll be a good little gig coming up too, mm -hmm. and. Um, Moving forward to, um, I believe, uh, Animal Aid, they're going to sponsor us again in June. It's June is, I think, National D-Sex Month or something. Very important to D-Sex your animals. Oh, good animals. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's yes. right. Yeah, I, I, when, uh, when Mark mentioned it, I got a little bit nervous here. I'm thinking, what, you want me to get on the, uh, on the bench <laughs> in the veterinary clinic there, do you? Um, in a little green gown with the back open? No. Oh, I'm just going to shut the shots now. But, <laughs> but, you know, going in. Yeah, I, I don't want to scare the viewers. That'll just freak them right out. Yeah. I had a chat with the animal aid guys about their cattery and they're redoing everything now. So, mm. um, and they definitely need um, a lot of cats adopted at the moment by the sound of it. Yeah, they've got um, lots of cats there. The cats, it's amazing how many cats um, they tend to get. And it's sometimes. people don't de-sex, that's why. And it's. Yeah, it's pretty sad because, you know, um, it's so simple to do and it mm. saves, you know, so much hassle in the long run with all yeah. these cats getting donated, you know, given to the to the animal shelter and then having to rehome them. It's simple to de -sex. And of course, I mean, you would know all about it. You're our, you're our cat expert being the, uh, the uh, in resident cat lady. <laughs> yeah, I like that you've used that. <laughs> <laughs> Not the crazy cat lady. Uh, well, that's kind of what I was alluding to, but you know. <laughs> I'm happy to own that title. Yeah, own I do it. Love own cats. it, girl. Yeah. yeah. Come on, tell the guys how, how many cats you got. Well, I had three up until very recently. I lost my 16-year-old Trinity. Yeah, 16-year-old baby. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but um, yeah, I've got two, and I also have my cat Notch's face tattooed on my leg. <laughs> leg. Wow. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. It's leg. It's leg. It's, it's, it's leg. Leg. <laughs> <laughs> it is technically leg. Yeah, upper, upper leg. Upper upper leg. leg. <laughs> yeah, upper is it leg. When, like when you walk. Does, oh, how do you explain that? Like, <laughs> does a cat move when you like? <laughs> oh, I have to bite yes, my tongue. Yes, oh no. Yes, he does. Yeah. <laughs> uh, just notch me out. <laughs> yeah. So no, but I had a chat to the animal aid guys, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, I was telling them how in year twelve I actually did a, a project um, based around community, mm -hmm. and I decided to raise money for animal aid by selling oh, their you? bracelets. Wow. Yeah, cool. So I had to tell them about that because I was pretty proud of it. Made yeah. forty bucks for them. Yes, <laughs> I love was it. <laughs> <laughs> well, but still, I mean, that's something, you know. And you yeah. were 
you know, proactive to do to choose an organisation like Animal Aid, yeah. and uh, they were doing some good in the community and still are. Yeah, but both my cats were from Animal Aid, and you know, you know how much I love my cats, oh, so I, I had to have. I know. Yes, yeah, so I had to tell them how much I love my cats. Yeah, your, your cats, <laughs> your cats are your babies. Yes, they come, yes, they, they come are. first. Yep. So um, if there's any um, fellas out there um, considering, you know, maybe shouting out to Karina, oh, her honey. cats come first, all right? You'll be second. Thanks, Pat. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be second. I'm not that crazy. <laughs> Promise. That's what she said. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> uh, so what else are we going to have a chat about, guys? Um, look, at, on the table, I brought a couple of things in um, just to share a little bit of our adventures from, from this year now. Um, Shall we, actually, well, the, the crown, um, just pass me that crown there, Dan. But it's this a is, show this and is, tell. It's a show, show and tell, tell. yeah, show <laughs> and tell. Now, back back in 2017, um, at the, Man, the, the Mandeville and Street Party, of course, and it's coming back in this year, 2019, I'm defending my crown. Oh, is it yeah. like mud wrestling or fighting <laughs> or like that? Or is it, do you have to like... God. <laughs> uh, that'd be an interesting one for the viewers. Now, um, in 2017, I was awarded Mr. Mount Evelyn in the pin-up competition. And I've got, I've got a... Pin-up? Pin-up. So, pin-up. Yeah. So did you have to like... Yeah. Yes, I was bulking up. I was in my, my budgie smugglers and okay. you know, flexing it like Tony Abbott. Um, no, 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 no. I was not doing that okay. at all. Um, no, it was a pin-up um, theme. It was, I had like a sort of this um, gangster kind of look. I had this sort of you know, pinky kind of light pink shirt on and the, the nice slacks and the gangster kind of hat with my fob watch that I was flipping around. And yeah, we streamed that live. You can always scroll back through our playlist and check that out. The very moment I was awarded Mr. Mount Evelyn. Who were the um, competitors? Yeah, I was going to say, how many competitors yeah. were there, Pat? Uh, it was a massive, <laughs> massive field. It was just, it was fiercely competitive. Um, was it? It was myself and, oh, there's, hang on, there was uh, myself and one other guy. Mm. And, um, oh, okay. yeah. Competition is very yeah. fierce. So, yeah, look, yeah. Uh, so I should be pretty humble about the fact that I got yeah. that. I shouldn't, <laughs> yeah. Um, but, yeah, so, fellas, if you want to get involved in a fun event, um, I'm sure they're having the pin-up comp again for the uh, Great Mount Evelyn um, Street Party, of course. It's happening, I, I think, in October by memory, but don't, don't quote me on that. Google that. Um, it's yeah, always a, a great day out, and uh, we'll be there again this year. We'll be going live on the day, a couple of broadcasts there, and yeah. So that was our. And I've got, I've got a little blue sash as well. Very um, you know, when you win a, a fashion parade or something, like that, they give you the sash. So that was my... <laughs> You're pretty proud of that, aren't you? Yes. Oh, look, I, I reckon I slept in that thing for about a week. You know? <laughs> <Not> <laughs> Didn't surprised. <come> off. <laughs> um, what else we got now? Earlier this year. I think yeah. Yeah. Um, the yeah, show the guys that one there, Dan. Um, Camera. Super humbled. Um, in uh, in January, I got a phone call from council. Um, yeah, it was uh, basically they said, "Pat, are you available on Australia Day?" And I thought, uh, "Oh, great, we've got a paid gig coming up." You know, because um, sometimes ca council actually engage us for some paid coverage. Um, things like the mayor's big day out, um, and we've done some culture stuff. Um, mm, culture tracks. Yeah, um, the launch of culture tracks. You did. Mm, um, mm. You did a great edit on that too. Um, no, that was the, which one did you edit, put together? Um, that was the Hillsville. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 the Hillsville one, yeah. yeah. So that was the um, opening for all their arts thing was with the... That was, that was yeah, the launch of the, the Culture yeah, Trash program, yeah. yeah. For this year, yeah. And uh, we streamed that live, so that was a two-hour stream. I was actually on the camera for that. You were, that's right, yeah, because I was on the DM. Yeah, you were yeah. on, on our sexy that's camera. That's right, you were too. Yeah, um, and I have never been on the gimbal for two hours straight. It's like doing the thousand steps a thousand oh. times. My hammies. Yeah, you were going on about that for oh, weeks. Yeah, that. <laughs> on and on, my legs, my legs. <laughs> yeah, Literally, I reckon like two weeks he was complaining about his legs. Yeah, uh, it killed me, it did. Um, I've, Do you I've, have that problem, Danny? No, because I'm strong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I used muscles and I forgot I had. Um, but the point being, yeah, we were awarded um, a Yarranger's Council Australia Day Award, <laughs> which is pretty humbling and special. Mm. Um, we streamed that live too. and. Um, you can go back and um, see my acceptance speech. And the other one, just the other day, um, you missed out on it. It was yeah, the, the Dawn so Service. Surprised. Oh, yes. Thanks. Yeah, Anzac thanks. Day Dawn Service. You were still yeah, snug still, as a yeah. bug. You know, All bug. Right. Yeah, yeah I know, I know. Yeah. She doesn't do mornings. No, no I don't. No, she doesn't Even do mornings. today. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, I was here before, Pat. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> and that surprised me. I mean, we, we, we teed up this um, pilot um, for what, you know, okay, on location at midday. Um, I rang her up at 11. Karina, are you up? 
Uh, oh, that's so cute. <laughs> hey, I'm here. You're here, and you're looking, looking stunning, darling. Uh -huh. Stunning, absolutely fabulous. Thank you. My Guns N' Roses T-shirt. Love it. Yeah. Um, did you just quickly have before we get onto that? Yeah. yeah, yeah, um, to that, yeah. Uh, and then we'll have a quick chat about Gunners because, um, <laughs> yeah. Um, Victorian oh, yes. RSL. So the RSL branch of Victoria surprised us with this special award. Um, in grateful appreciation of your support for community events in the Yarra Ranges, and it's signed by the pre President Rob Webster, who we met in 2017. We did a special Anzac uh, Day promo piece with the President of the Victorian RSL. So you weren't expecting that, were no, you? No. You were shocked, weren't you? What happened? Yeah, so I was filming, and then, I, and then I hear, oh, we'd like to call up Patrick Belcher, and I'm like, huh? And I looked at him straight away. I was like, what's, yeah, what's this about? Like, and I'm looking at Danny going, uh, yeah, like a stun mullet, you know? Yeah. But it's really good because it, it, it like, yeah, it was a good a good way to like network the name out there as well because then everyone was like hearing who we were and what mm. we do and stuff like that. Well, so. again, I mean, that was um, you know Don Parsons doing also um, Anthony McAleer from Mount Evelyn RSL. Mm. So both Mount Evelyn and Lilydale RSL contacted um, the Victorian RSL, the, the RSL Victoria. I made them aware of all the different um, events, RSL particular events that we've covered. Yeah. Um, I mean, we've done stuff with uh, Hillsville RSL with the Vietnam Veterans March in, I think, 2018. I've done a couple of reports on them, yeah. Yeah. Um, also, up by Belgrave RSL. When we first initially did our um, Anzac Day coverage, um, 2017 oh, and 2018, yeah. that was yeah. from, from their Anzac Day. And they, they put on a really impressive show. Mm. Um, and on both occasions, in, in 2017 and 2018, we streamed all three of their, sorry, mm. There was three things that we streamed, the dawn service and the, the veterans parade, and then we did the main service at 10 a.m. as well. And um, yeah, we had the jets fly over, I think it was last oh, wow. year. Yeah, okay. that was pretty cool. Very cool. That, yeah, yeah, that was a, a big surprise, wasn't it? And a nice surprise. Couldn't believe I was speechless, you know, speechless. I didn't, didn't expect it. So uh, yeah, shout out to Dawn and to Anthony. Thank you very much for uh, uh, getting well out deserved, on Pat. Well deserved, Pat. Well deserved. Know, well, no one, no one was doing what, um, what we do. I mean, there was a niche in the market. Yeah. You know, the community wants to see more community content, you know, um, and in a fun way, you know. I mean, with you behind the camera, you're the viewer's eyes, and mm. you know, I, I hear time and time again, mate, it's, it's like we're there with you, mm. you know. Um, you're walking us through the event, and it's like we're side by side, you know. Yeah. But um, yeah, I love what we do. So do I. Yeah. So do I. Well, everyone says, yeah, that comes across, mate. You, mm -hmm. you're very passionate, and I'm just, you know, I might have a down, crappy day or whatever, but then when it's showtime. I'm like, yeah. you know, ah, oh, beautiful peeps of the Arrow Valley and the Rangers, <laughs> yes. Oh, and beyond, and, and beyond. beyond. Yeah, I, I have to add the end, and beyond because of our international viewers. Oh, okay. Do we yeah. have international viewers? Yeah. Mate, yeah. yeah, we've got regulars in America. Really? Uh, David? Yeah, Dave Patch, he tunes yeah, in yeah. regularly. Um, he's in Columbus, Ohio. And then um, we had another lady tune in from, I forget where she, where she was at. Um, was it Florida? Oh, Florida, yeah. I think it was Florida. Um, that does ring a bell. Are these people who used to live in the valley and they've moved in overseas? No, David Patch is actually an American. Oh, really? Um, okay. Yeah, he, he's got nothing oh. to do with Australia. He, he came across one of our live yeah. streams. Really? Um, early on huh. in, the, in the set. Yeah, but when we did, um, and I think it was actually our, our Anzac Day broadcast, the very first yeah, yeah, yeah. one, because that was a simulcast with 3MDR. So 3MDR did a radio broadcast. We got their audio feed, um, and their audio feed went over the top of our footage. Oh. Um, and that's how, how I think David Patch discovered mm. us. Um, huh, that's amazing. And I think a gentleman by the name of <laughs> Tony Redrup, um, he's in New Zealand. He loves community TV, um, and whenever he sees us online, he always jumps on, he watches, he comments, he goes, I love that's community really TV. That's really cool. Um, See, it's great for the tourist industry as well, yeah, isn't yeah, it? <clears> yeah. And it's a different insight too. It's, it's yeah. not, like what we do isn't, um, you know, sexy package kind of, I mean, we can do that, sure, but mm. it's about capturing the moment. Yeah. Capturing the atmosphere, mm. and I think the only way, the best way to do that is to do that live. Yeah, I just I hate Facebook the way that they oh. they compress the image. Yeah. I, it, yeah. it really makes me just cry. Yeah. I, it's hard for you, isn't it, Danny? It's hard because <laughs> I, I get the especially <laughs> the, for the midweek wrap. I get the footage, I download it from Facebook, and it's like three twenty by six forty, and it's like why? Yeah. why? Yeah. Yeah. And even when we upload to HD, we click on HD, and yep. it's still Upload. like yeah. terrible quality. Yeah. It, it, yeah. It, Really but, makes me yeah. angry. Well, what, what did you say the other day? You said um, every time you yeah, yeah. it's like was it the, an angel loses its wings yeah. <laughs> yeah. because I have to I have to like I have to scale it up three hundred and two percent. Yeah, it's frustrating. And then I got the beautiful cameras like the like yeah. Magics for the midweek wrap for the news, and it looks great. And even like the other day at the New Yorker, you know, on the big screen, it looks mm. fantastic. Yeah, and then it comes up with this 
pixelated image I just, I hate of the live yeah. broadcast yeah because yeah. it's i just feel like it really reflects us a little bit mm. yeah it does but i think we're going to break that up a little bit we're going to do maybe we'll see how it yeah goes. see i mean I, I don't want to lose a live i mean live is what i love and oh, that's yeah. what, what, what we're renowned for so yeah it yeah. is and i think there's definitely things that we need to keep the lives for and i think yep. there's things mm. that we could do pre-recorded I, things I for agree. Yeah. yeah we'll just play it by ear yeah yep yeah. But I'm, I'm still open to that. I haven't said no. All right, yeah, so. it's just it's the mic issues. Yeah. Like when that happens and like you finish a broadcast and you're so wrapped with it, yeah. like mm. that interview I did with um, Mr. Look Good. I, I was just about to bring that up yeah. and also oh. yeah, segue to your Guns N' Roses. But yeah, because um, th this whole issue came up um, at the 80s, when yeah. the, the big 80s party at, um, at Rochwood. Um, yeah. Share with the guys what happened, yeah. Yeah, well, we had a really awesome interview with Mr. Look Good. We went on stage, mm. but... The mics, yeah. they blew out. Massive audio blow out. And the, yeah. and the problem too, when I'm there filming, I can't just go like, yeah, blow out well, yeah. I can't, yeah. I can't yeah. move people away. Yeah. We can't really, we're kind of stuck. And even though I saw that all the messages was really good, I can't do anything about it. can't do anything about it. I, I can't then yeah. yell at people and <laughs> tell them to go somewhere else. It's just, it's, so we had to just... We had to go with that. Yeah. on the chin sort and, of thing. And look, you know, I, I tend to own our stuff up, so to speak. Like, yeah. Is it a stuff up? Well, yeah, in some respect it is, but you know, it's part of the journey. Mm. So, uh, like you said, oh, you're gonna do, you're gonna keep it up there. Um, I said, you know what? Yeah, well, I'm not gonna delete it because yeah. the pictures were really good. Mm. You know, like we we set it up. Like before we do a live broadcast, we always sort of walk through the process. I say, all right, Dan, we're gonna start here. Mm. Um, you start here, then you pick me up here, then from here we're gonna go to there, and we do the first interview, and we walk through it. Yeah. Um, and we walk through it, and then we filmed it. We went live. And it flowed. It really flowed yeah. really well. You know, it ended up with you and me on the stage at the end of that interview. Yeah, I loved that interview. I was so <laughs> wrapped with it. I was so excited to watch it back. And then we're like, shared the mics. Like, <laughs> no. Whoa. Yeah, and uh, and then yeah, as you said, you know, you're like, Pat, we've got to do something about it. You know, we can't we can't yeah, you know, go live I, and, I and have these audio it. issues. You did. You had your little diva moment. It's yeah, like, I no. I, it. I was like, I'm so happy with that. We we don't have to do lives. There is. I do believe there is a time and place for lives. Yep. Mm. Um, and it is part of our niche. Yeah, definitely. Um, but I do think there are, uh, there's a time and place to do pre-recorded stuff. Yeah. That doesn't have to be that and, different. And as I said, like at the at the moment, the only thing that's restricted because in season one we did a lot of pre-recorded and packaged content. Now, because we're only in part-time production, um, mm. it's just simply the cost. I can't afford to, you know, um, to to film, then come back and edit. You know, all that time involved. When you go live, bang, you're live for ten minutes. There's still your sort of hour all round for a yeah. 10 minute broadcast, you know, you, and often it's more than that because you've got your travel time to get there. Mm -hmm. You got you then have to work out the, the shoot. Oh, it's June! <laughs> Quick, come here. Yeah, we were just about to mention you yeah, too. June. Say hello to that. Yeah, <laughs> go on. You, you, you say it, you say it, you say it. I love June. Yeah. Oh my God. Come, come, come sit on the couch. Come sit on the couch. Actually, this is a podcast. <laughs> on, on we're TV actually filming, filming. filming a podcast. Yeah. June has to be one of my favourite human beings. She is so gorgeous. Yeah, Look at her. <laughs> I love really her. I don't, I'm just. There's just yes. something about June. So, so, so explain to our viewers who's June. Come okay, on. so June is Danny's beautiful partner. Mm -hmm. And yes, she <laughs> is just you. adorable. Like you cannot Thank not you. love her. <laughs> I love you, James. <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yes, now, I'm so glad June if, is um, here. If you, if you tune in, um, like, often we'll do a live test uh, broadcast before we go live. Oh. And uh, remember at Churnside? Yeah. When you're on camera with me? For the, oh, the yeah. test? Yeah. Yes. yeah. Uh, that would have been the first time you guys would have seen June. Um, you're so cute. You're on the camera there. You're like, oh, hello. <laughs> oh, she's so gorgeous. <laughs> awesome. Thanks for your cameo. Okay. You can, okay. you can, okay. you can now. Thank yeah, you. we'll, we'll go. Keep lady. chatting. We'll <laughs> Thanks, June. <laughs> there you go. That was Yay. completely unexpected because oh, we were talking before I was about. like, we need June to yeah. be on this, like, 100%. And, ta da! Yeah. There she this was. Is beautiful. Beautiful. Um, yeah. Yeah. So uh, where were we? Yeah, cost of um, going live as opposed to yeah. cost of doing the pre-packaged stuff. So yeah, look, um, we will be adding some more pre-packaged content coming down uh, in, in the future. But um, how much fun was that 80s party gig? Huh? Oh, it was awesome. Yeah, it was awesome. Did you enjoy that? It was cool. Um, yeah. <laughs> I mean, look, I, I'm, very, I'm very focused. I, I kind of yeah. go, yeah. go there. I don't really want to enjoy things. I just want to go and just film it. Do a professional do what I need to job. Do. Yeah, do a professional yeah. job. And then which you do yeah, yeah and then, then, and, then and then and then go and and then look at how i did it and stuff like mm -hmm. that to improve mm -hmm. um yeah it was fun but i don't really do well at parties i don't really <laughs> care yeah. at parties even yeah. like at the new york i basically sat on the door for most of it because yeah 
I don't really dance and I don't really mingle much. Um, was it Phil Collins that said, I can't dance, I can't sing? Sorry, that was really bad. <laughs> well, that's true, because I can't, I can't do that. <laughs> um, but that I, did, I mean, we actually were planning on actually hopefully going up on the stage yeah. and actually performing. So yeah. we are thinking about doing like, um, oh, yes, was it Lock on Heaven's Door? Yeah, yeah. The, the Gunner's version. Yeah. Because, yeah. of course, you know, Karina's got a beautiful voice. She's got this amazing voice. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to coax her to sing a song for you guys at some stage. Oh, gosh. Yeah, Dan maybe. the man, he's um, the guitar man. Mm -hmm. He can strum, strum the six strings and um, I drum. Sometimes. We could totally make yeah. a band. We could. The Yarringers Life TV rock band. Mm. Yeah. We should have a jam session. We should. Might be a way to get some more money coming in. Well, we might be gigging, yeah, busking on the yeah. corner at Lillardale Station with our little beggars bowl out. Lillardale Station? <laughs> oh, goodness me. <laughs> but um, now you um, had this really cool vibe going with Mr. Um, okay, and oh. one of my problems when I go live, <laughs> names. So bad with names, Pat. It's nah. hilarious. Doctor Feelgood? Yeah. <laughs> no. Um. He was introduced to me as Mister Lookgood. Right. It, it yeah. was Lookgood, Lookgood, Lookgood. Right. But for some reason, I kept calling him Lovegood. Mister Lovegood. Oh, and I so wanted to pull you up when we were live. I wanted to pull you up and it go. No, Pat. You should have. But I couldn't get a word in. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that's that's, that's so another far, one of my problems. You're gonna have to own that. Then. <laughs> that's another <laughs> one of my problems. I know. Yeah. Uh, once, once I like. I, I'm a little bit agoraphobic, um, socially anxious, and I want to tell people that they're like, bullshit, but how can you be socially anxious? Look at what you do. But crowds, um, especially um, packed places, condensed shopping centres at Christmas time, forget it, right? No, no. Um, yeah, uh, I don't do that very well. Um, so, yeah, one of the ways that I suppose I subconsciously handle um, my, my sort of phobia of crowds and, and, and places and things is, I rant. And you do. I, and I talk at a million miles an hour, um, and I take the piss out of myself, especially when I stuff up. I own it. I think that's the you know, only way, uh, only thing oh, no, you can do. No, that's good. That's a good thing. Yeah. Um, but I think that that's that's kind of what the bit of the charm and the appeal is. Yeah, of course it is. Of course it is. I, yeah. lo I mean, I love your rambles. It's just <laughs> when we're sharing the camera, you, it. I mean, you're not used to having a co-host, are you? Look, the first two years I was flying solo, yeah. you know, yeah. and, and now I've got you know, the world's best wing woman next to me. <laughs> Thank um, you. And I've, I told you, I've been trying to give you some more space. I've been trying no, to just shut up, zip it. No, no, you've been doing really well. Yeah, it's just an adjustment yeah. period to, yeah. yeah, not have to constantly fill the space because that's what you naturally do. Yeah. Because you have to. But now you've got me to, to share the load with. So. Yeah. And, yeah. and, and you can talk the legs off a table just as sure good as can. I can. <laughs> sure can. <laughs> no, but that's why we're a dynamic duo, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, and I love that 80s party broadcast. Like the second broadcast we did after that audio yeah. stuff up, um, we came back. Um, it you, was cool. you smashed it. Yeah, it was I cool. mean, you were on fire. I love doing the lives. It's actually come as a huge surprise to me because um, I thought I'd really do well more with the news and the scripted side of things. Mm especially with like telemarketing background. I've yeah. written so many telemarketing scripts and have mm. to read them word for word. And mm. I used to write blog articles mm -hmm. for a job. Yeah, that's right. Um, so, I've like over 1,500 blogs, over yeah. 1,500 articles. Yeah, which is nice. a lot. Yeah. So I thought, well, combine those two skills, writing articles and reading them on, on camera. Mm. Mm. I thought, I'll, I'll feel really comfortable with that, which I did, mm. but the lives have taken me by surprise. Mm. I, I was scared of doing the lives when I first came on board. Because it's unscripted, I'm not really used yeah. to that. Yeah, um, all the live stuff is unscripted. Completely unscripted. We're going with the flow, um, flying by the seat of our pants. Yep. Often it's brown trouser <laughs> time, but no, we do get there at the end of the day, you know. Yes. And, and you, you did, when you came on board, um, you, know, you first read um, the news with Jim Brown. Um, yes. And that was your sort of your, your settling in period, which was really good. I loved um, that. I was you, pretty nervous. <laughs> well, when you're working with somebody who's you know, worked in the industry professionally, you know, Jim Brown, I mean, he used to present know, for Channel 9 and Channel 10. Gosh, um, I was like so nervous. And yeah, like I said at the fundraiser on Friday, I was really keen to impress Jim Brown because he's so professional and he's mm. been in the industry for so long. Mm. Um, yeah, I think he's, I think he's proud. Uh, look, uh, Jim, I think um, you'll find um, he'll always, uh, it doesn't matter if you're 110%, he'll always go, yeah, yeah, that was all right. That was a good job. Yeah. Yeah, he, won't, he won't go, yeah, that was 110%. He'll just, yeah, cause he'll just temper he it. Yeah, because he wants you to keep pushing and get better. That's right, so. you know, because you can always get better. Yes. You know? Like that, that's 
when we finish doing a live cross, whatever, I'll, I'll, I'll go yeah. home, I'll update the, the, la the tags and the links, I'll, I might share it across to some of the notice boards, yeah. but then I'll take the time to watch it because it's all about, all right, where did I go wrong? Where were the stuff ups? Okay. And where can we improve yeah. moving forward? Yeah. You know, and that's how you get better. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. But yes, um, the lives. I, I just mm. love doing the lives. And yeah, I don't know. I just feel like that's what I'm supposed to do. Yeah. Yeah, I love yeah. it. You're a natural. I love it. Thank you. It's so great to work with you. We're, we're a good little team now, I feel. <laughs> well, you've settled in. And um, as I said, I'm, I'm, giving, I'm giving her the space to do a thing. And I reckon you, you guys can just go down on location. You don't need me anymore. I'll, hmm. I'll stay in bed. One of these oh. days, we might, yeah, we might, might do, do that. that. Yeah. yeah. I, I think that'd be all right. You might be in bed and you'd be like flicking through. What? They're live. <laughs> what? The Average Life TV is live? Where am I? Yes, <laughs> yes. I'd love to see that. Yeah. I'd love to, I'd, 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 I'm sure it'll happen. You can you can tee up an event You mm -hmm. can and uh, you guys go out and do it. Yep. Yeah. Set it, set it up and smash it out. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Definitely. Be keen mm. for that. So we've got um, a lot more coming up, Some a lot more yeah. cool events coming up. Um, what about next week? What we, what we got on for that? Um, well... I don't want to say I don't want to say specific dates because I don't know when we're going to get this podcast up. I'd love to get this up. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping because this is our first one. This is our so first one, our first pilot. I'm hoping so. Thursday, Friday. Yeah, before the weekend would be great yeah, because yeah, that's what I'm hoping. if it's up before the weekend, that means I can say on this weekend it's the Puffing Billy Great Train Race. We'll be in Belgrave sharing that with you. Um, we're also going to go to the Oak Tree Tavern. We haven't done any music for a long time. Oh, good. We are oh, going to be, yes, yes. there's this very, uh, an amazing band that's launching at the Oak Tree on Sunday. They're called Darlinghurst. Oh. Jason Resch is the front man. Mm -hmm. um, amazingly talented guitarist. He's been over to America. He's been playing over there. He's played with, uh, he's only like, I think about 26 or something. He's a young bloke. Um, there's a, one of their little clips floating around on Facebook at the moment to promote the launch. Um, uh, I th think Jason plays as of about five on Sunday, Arvo, get your butts to the Oak Tree Tab and go say good day to Rex. You'll see us down there. So we come down and have a drink and a boogie and whatnot. Um, it's going to be great. And it's going to be actually pretty, pretty packed so get down there early. Um, plus, there was something else on the fifth, uh, the Chestnut Festival. The oh. Calorama Chestnut Festival is on again. Oh. It's an iconic event. Okay. Um, and of course, the chestnut trees are so synonymous with um, the hills and things up there. So we're going to go check that one out. And on the 4th, May the 4th, this one's not booked in yet, I'm thinking about it, we might go back and visit Sri Ram at um, uh, the Victorian Roller Skating Centre. Oh. oh, I love that place. Do you want to come? Yes. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a May the 4th Be With You mm, so roller skating, yeah, roller skating okay. session. Oh, I love roller skating. Yeah, um, so because I wanted to do something like for May the 4th Be With You because, you know, you may have heard me mention that a couple of times mm -hmm. during the live broadcast. Yep. Um, so that might be a fun thing too and I always like to get on the skates and... See if I Why potentially go A over S. Yeah. Oh. Do go on the skates? No. I'd like, to see, I'd like oh, to see you. Oh, that would be I'd cool. I'd like to see you on the skates. I've never been on the skates. What? Really? Yeah. I, no. <laughs> no. No. Now, we're, ta we're talking about the place in Lilydale. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, you know, when I was a kid, I did roller hockey there. That's where I learned how oh. to play roller hockey. Yeah, cool. And I thought, up until last year when we did a, a thing with them, mm. I actually didn't know they still existed. I am so keen to get down there's, there. There's, It'll be nostalgic. Yeah, and they, they still do the roller hockey. Mm -hmm. um, they, they do a whole heap of other um, roller, skating, roller skating activities like the, um, uh, the, the, not dancing, but whatever it's called, you know, the, the technical kind of stuff, um, like the ballet on skates kind of oh, thing. Oh, um, really? Yeah, yeah. And um, cool. what was that, that, that handball game thing that they're um, getting a team up for? There's, um, oh, look, after tuning on Saturday and we'll go through it. Mm. Do you know, yeah. my, one of my first dates, I think it was my second date, was <laughs> actually... Um, there, when I was young. <laughs> and I think my dad accompanied me. <laughs> and and, and how, did, how did that work out for you? How do you think? Just like every other day. <laughs> no. Oh, no. No, my love life is a bit of a, an on-running joke at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> we won't go there. Uh, uh, actually, no, we will. We will. So, um, oh, will we? How, how's the dating scene going for you this year, Karina? Have you um, going? Because I know that uh, you had a bit of a chat with a young man on Tinder. I did. Oh yeah, I've had a, that one. Yeah. I've had a couple of um. Yeah. I've had a couple of yeah Tinder chats, but yeah. no, look, it's just it's just not happening for Cause, me. Because because what did you what was his name? Hot Tinder guy. HTG. HTG. Hot HTG. Tinder guy is what you called him. Yeah. Yes. Um. Because no. he's very spiritual, you see, and, and he had all the right words and roped yes. her in. Well, I do like the more um like the the deeper sort of people that can have real conversations and the, substance. The deeper people. Mm. Deeper. No, but they're hard to find. Yeah, they're very hard to find. Uh, it's substance. It's all about substance. Yeah, it is. And um, this is the thing, fellas, don't be so shallow. Um, and, and as we, oh, how much fun did we have at, uh, when we did the singles night at the, uh, the New I Yorker? I love that. Weren't we going to do a regular thing there? Uh, oh, 
we'll have a chat with um, yeah. Amanda and Adam and uh, Pierre and see you. Because they, they had some ideas, so we'll have a chat to yeah, those guys. Cool. Yeah, cool. But um, the advice that you gave me, because of course, you know, Corinne is our, our dating advice expert. Clearly, because it <laughs> works for me. Single for pr practically six years. Hey, so. but hey, sister, your advice works for me. Yes, I know, because you do have a, a new lovely lady on the scene. Yeah, there's an interest there. Yeah, there's, you know, um, but, but the, 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 like the week after, the point of what I was getting at was the week after, yeah. um, we did that singles thing. Yes. We went out to um, like the, the Dorset Gardens. They invited us to come around and they, um, Dorset Gardens Hotel, yes, some people call it the Dirty Dorset. <laughs> Um, that's what I remember it as, but yeah. no, we love the Dorset Gardens. It's yes. a beautiful place, great music, great drinks. Um, they they shouted us, they, they had free entry, free drinks. It was, yeah. you know. No, they're, they're and, a good team, yeah. Um, and I met a lovely young lady there that night. Yes, you did. Based on those tips that you gave me. I know. Well, and I was a great wingwoman too. Yep, wingwoman extraordinaire. Thank you. And now, of course, I have to pay back the wingman side of things. Yes, you do. So, yes. fellas, right? <laughs> If you're a nice guy, right? We're only accepting offers from nice this gentlemen. This is true. Right? This is true. No Send creeps. Your application to your Rangers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Email, email your application to yrlife.tv oh, at gmail.com. This is next level of, um, <laughs> of, of yeah, desperation in the day. No, no look, I'm okay. We, need, we, need, to, we need to do a, um, a perfect match kind yeah. of uh, yes. podcast. Yeah. Yep. Get like little deck stuff to come oh in. Oh my gosh. And, uh, <laughs> compatibility <Yeah>. rating. <laughs> I, I do prefer to meet people in a, a more natural environment. Just. But you said, what happens? They don't come up and say good day. No, they don't. They don't. But what is it? What? I don't know. I actually think it may be because I come across as, I do come across <laughs> as very confident. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Go on. We were at uh, dinner at Carlos Cantina oh. last oh. Wednesday, or the Wednesday, and um, Karina had this epiphany. She goes, shit, do you know what I've just realised? I'm obnoxious. Am I obnoxious? <laughs> Am I obnoxious? I asked the question, <laughs> expecting you would say no, no, you're just bubbly. But there was a silence, and then <laughs> there was like three, three of you at once going, yeah, kind of obnoxious. <laughs> and I said, <laughs> it's, it's not that you're obnoxious, Karina. It's look, you're confident, and you're loud. Be, I can be loud, yes. <laughs> yeah. so, well, but, but you yes. own it. You yes. own it. You know. And but this, but this thing, a confident woman, often. Scares the bejesus well, yeah. out of a bloke. That's what I was going to say. Like, I think that's why maybe I don't get approached very often is because I come across as maybe too confident. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Don't they're just ask scared. Me. What do you reckon, they're just scared. <laughs> what do you reckon? Um, no comment. <laughs> um, oh, no, that sounds, that sounds bad. <laughs> no, no, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I just remember the time remember He's at, blushing. The, at the New Yorker where... Um, the raffle tickets, we had a raffle ticket, and then you actually put your address. <laughs> <laughs> this is Do you remember that? Yes. Yeah. What's, so, that? What's that about? So, hang on, just to explain, um, yeah. so at our second birthday bash and fundraiser that we had at New York the other night, um, we had some raffle tickets, of course, and, and Karina decided to buy some, which you know, I said, look, Karina, in theory, you know, yeah. family and friends shouldn't be going to raffle draws because if you win, it looks like, oh, you're in favouritism. Them. Like, that cost me 10 bucks and I didn't win, so <laughs> I technically donated to us. But. She actually filled out the ticket on the raffle ticket. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'd had a couple of cocktails. <laughs> yeah. Couple? I, I was all right. I think five at that stage. I think, yeah. Well, yeah, okay. That, all right. So no. what, 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 what's your so, point there, Danny? No, no, what are you just, trying to say, no, Danny? No problem. I'm just, I'm just having a good laugh. No, 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 the point he's saying is just your name would have done. You know, yeah. <laughs> you didn't have to put your address in your phone. Yeah, number. You know, I, was, like, I said to you, well, why are you putting your address down? We know who you are. <laughs> and I looked at you like... Like... Oh. oh, yeah. <laughs> I was having a good time, all right? You were. You had a great time. That was awesome. Yeah. You know what was cool? The band asked me to come up and dance on the oh, stage so I remember with that, yes. her. I got a video on that. Yeah. Did you? Maybe, oh. maybe we should actually show it now. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't, yeah. Go on. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it was fun. It was fun. Yeah, it was a good night. A good night. Of course, yeah, the Kevin Buckingham Band, um, they, um, they gave me a really good price. Um, but then at the end of the night, they said, look, Pat, we're going to halve it again. So, um, oh, did they? Dave, Kevin, um, Winston, and <laughs> um, go on blank, is it Michael? Sorry, um, Kevin Buckingham Band, thank you so much for playing on the night, guys. Um, yeah. And I'm actually thinking of we're going to do these um, events, these Yarrow Angels Life TV events quarterly. Uh, yeah, I think we should. Every three months, I reckon we're wow. going to do something. I think yeah. we should, actually, because 
all, like all my friends that came along, mm. the feedback was they had a blast. Yeah, um, and that's what we're getting as well. Like all the comments that are coming up online, because um, as, as I said, the food, like the food kept coming out all night. It was like 35 bucks a head, mm. um, heaps of food. Thank you very much, Jules, from Tasty Ads. And the cake. The cake was the great. Cake. Um, I didn't have any. Langford's Patisserie, Gilbert, Gilbert and Joy. Yes. Yeah. They They're amazing. Us. They are amazing people. They do so much work in the community. Mm. They do a lot of um, charity stuff. Mm. They are a huge um, part of our community. Oh, I love those guys. Give them a plug again. Where are they? Where are they? Langford's Patisserie mm. in Moorlbark. Mm. Go check them out. They're, they're amazing people and their food is to die for. Yeah, so. we, we catered for 50 people um, and we got the catering pretty much spot on because there were about 47 there. Uh, but the cake. It was, it was huge. We were not expecting that. It was a cake for 80 or something. It was It was amazing. Nuts. Those um, guys are, are lovely. Make sure you go and, and support them. Yeah. yeah, they're a great local business. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, um, how are we going for time, guys? Because I reckon... Uh, yeah, we, we pretty much... Yeah, we need to wrap it up. up yeah. yeah, so... Well, this is it. This was our pilot. Yeah, a bit of a behind-the-scenes chinwag and a bit of a chit-chat. And, you know, we want to give you guys a bit of a different insight into what we do yeah. um, and, and who and we are. And who we are. And I think we're going to be... Yeah, if this is a success, which I'm sure it will be, we'll hopefully we'll be able to share more about our personal lives as well because yeah. people, like... We have a perception when we're on camera and about what yeah. we do that, you know, we're just these professional people doing mm. our little thing. But we ha we're real as well. Yeah. And I think there are some important topics that uh, we should discuss yeah. and share with our viewers. Look, and to give you guys a bit of a hint as to those, I mean, um, you know, people think that I'm this happy, crazy, bubbly person 24-7, like the guy that I am in front of the camera. Not true. Like mm. the last couple of years I've gone through hell and back in a, a, in a personal um, point of, of mm. personal... Uh, personal aspect I suppose um, and happy to share some of that with you some of the journey um, and then when you go back through our playlist and watch some of those videos from back then I think it will give you a totally different perspective as to what was going on in my life at that time mm. um, and still getting up in front of the camera and being this you know, presenting this persona of everything's hunky-dory everything's cool and you know happy happy families and that kind of stuff so yeah, yeah there'll be um, I want to I want to talk about mental health I want to talk about yeah, me too. a whole range of different things um, in, in different podcasts and also we want to invite some guests to come along and talk to those topics yeah, yeah, yeah. talk to those topics I think so. that's it's really important to be vulnerable and real in this world because mm. especially with social media and things like that it's it's um, it's a bit of a fake world that we're living in yeah. and for people to step up and be a bit more vulnerable and transparent about mm. real issues, it encourages other people to be vulnerable and, yeah. and talk about things we as need well. To start I think that's talking. important. Yeah, we need to start talking about those things, you know. Um, open up and make, you know, you, you guys out there that are watching, you know, make you see or show that, you know, a lot of these issues, a lot of these struggles are commonplace in our community. And it's, if we, we've got to talk about them more mm -hmm. and break down the, the barriers and the stigmas. Um, and no one's immune. No, this is no the thing, one no is one's immune. immune. You know, and things like depression and, and anxiety, they can strike you at any time. Um, yes. And it's, you know, it's important that, like I used to be a really stubborn bastard and think, no, I can, I can sort it all out myself, you know. Um, you know, you'd self-medicate and go through all that kind of stuff. Um, it doesn't work. Sometimes you just need to be real and go, I need some help, I yeah, need some that's assistance. Right. That's um, right. And then seek out the right assistance for you. But um, look, enough of that about that. We'll, we'll probably come back and do another podcast based on the feedback that you guys give us out there, of course. Um, I hope you've enjoyed a bit of a, yeah, a bit of a, a bit of a rant, a bit of a ramble, a bit of a chat, a bit of a laugh with the Yarringer's Life TV team. Yeah. Of course, um, we have the lovely Karina Stone. Thank you. Danny Field. And of course, I'm Pat Boucher. And <laughs> as always, we're living, we're loving, and we're sharing life in the Valley and the Rangers. This time at home, only on Gow Rangers Life TV. Yes. See you guys see next time. See you soon. Yeah, cheers. Thanks for watching. Yeah, that's cool. Cheers, guys.